In last week's video, we showed how to calculate our daily calorie intake. In today's video, let's learn how to break it down into macronutrients. Welcome to Kaya. We believe when it comes to fitness, there is a lot of information out there. Unfortunately, most of it is quite unorganized. It is the aim of this channel to organize it and present it in the form of a series of video lessons. Subscribe to our channel to get a video lesson every Sunday. In the process of achieving physical fitness, nutrition is equally important, if not more, than the workouts we do in the gym. The most important factor to consider in your nutrition is the total amount of calories intake. However, to be in our best shape, just counting daily calories is not enough. We also need to understand from where all our calories are coming from. 100 calories coming from a cup of plain, fat-free Greek yogurt and 100 calories coming from a pack of M&Ms will have a significantly different effect on our bodies. This is the reason why we must break down our daily calorie intake into macronutrients. Macronutrients, as the name suggests, are the nutrients that our body needs to consume in large amounts to survive. There are three of these, carbohydrate, protein, and fats and all of them are important as they play their specific role in keeping our body function smoothly. All three of the macronutrients can be a source of the energy. However, it is the carbohydrates which act as the primary source of energy for our body. Proteins are the building blocks of our body. They help in building muscle mass and repair any damage to our body. Fats play a critical part in the absorption of nutrients by our body. The amount of macronutrient we should ingest depends on our goal. To gain muscle, 40 to 60% of our calories should come from carbohydrates, 25 to 35% from protein, and 15 to 25% from fat. To maintain weight, 30 to 50% of our calories should come from carbohydrates, 25 to 35% from protein, and 25 to 35% from fat. To lose fat, 10 to 30% of our calories should come from carbohydrates, 40 to 50% from protein, and 30 to 40% from fat. This information, however, only tells us how many calories of each macronutrient we must ingest. Most of the food labels have the nutrients mentioned in grams. To do the conversion from calories to grams of macronutrients, keep in mind that each gram of carb and protein provides 4 calories, while each gram of fat provides 9 calories. Use the calorie numbers and divide them by the conversion numbers to get the macronutrient requirement in grams. As an example, let's say that from the calculation described in the previous video, we come up with a calorie requirement of 3,000 calories a day, and we want to maintain our weight. We decide to use a breakdown 40-30-30, that is 40% 30, 30. carbohydrates and 30% protein and fat. Then we need 1,200 calories from carbs and 900 each from proteins and fat. Since 1 gram of carbs produce 4 calories, in all we need 1,200 divided by 4, or 300 grams of carbs, 900 divided by 4, or 225 grams of protein, and 900 divided by 9, or 100 grams of fat. An important thing to keep in mind here is that although we are allowed to eat 300 grams of carbs and 100 grams of fat, this does not mean that we can eat any carb or any fat. We should always choose to eat complex carbs and healthy fats please refer to USDA recommendations for choosing the right food for each of the macronutrients. This concludes our video on how to break down our calories into macronutrients. In next week's video, we will go over meal planning and how we can stay disciplined with our diet. Thank you for watching this video. Click the like button if you enjoyed watching our video. Leave a comment below if you agree or disagree with us. We would love to hear your opinion either way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have more exciting stuff coming up for you. Have a great week ahead, and we will see you in the next video.